Good morning, Cyber Friends. It's me, man. Coming back at you from Walker's Music. We yet another word for the day. Sunday morning edition. We count it an honor and a privilege to be able to yet be able to do these videos. You know, maybe that it helping somebody somewhere. We never know. But we know we do all for the glory of God, not for self building up ourselves and you know self gratification. But but this is all about Jesus, all about Him and His glory, kingdom building. I want to give a shout out to the day, to the YouTube family, to the end time harvest game, to all that make up the whole cyber family. We wanted to just come a little different this morning. Um, wanted to say, Brother LA, I got your video. I got your email. And uh, matter of fact, that's why I decided that I would go ahead on and do this video of mine. The word for the day before I even uh, check that video out because I want to sit there and I want to soak that in. And you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to soak up everything and uh, want to get. I want to have my mind completely, totally free, so I can and look deep into this thing. I wanted to say uh, also that when Jesus, uh, like I said, this is an unusual video this morning, people. Uh, I got some things that I just want to break out the box right fast, like you know. Uh, get everybody to see some things if I can remember when Jesus was on the Mount of Olives and uh, when he when after he had him and his disciples they were at the temple and the disciples was telling Jesus about the buildings of the temple and how beautiful they were and everything and uh, Jesus told them he said I tell you the truth that not one stone here will not that you see standing here will not be thrown down in other words, there would not be left one stone here upon another. In other words, Jesus was foretelling the destruction of that temple that did take place in 70 A.D. by uh, the Roman general Titus Vespasian. Uh, and Vespasian was the Roman uh, emperor at that time. Uh, we know that that happened in 70 A.D. History books proves that. So Jesus had foretold that this destruction was going to happen. Um, people we know that our Savior Jesus was God in the flesh God knows the end from the beginning our Lord knows everything and I want to say this this morning for somebody and I'm, I believe somebody is going to get a benefit from this other than myself when the disciples asked Jesus about the end time and uh, what will be the signs of his coming and the signs of the end of the world or quote unquote the end of this age Jesus was very very peculiar and he was very particular I should say and what he said he, the first thing that, that really comes to my mind instantly is the order that they asked the question the order and uh, and if we take the order that they ask the question, matter of fact, let's go to Matthew 24. Let's go back to Matthew 24. And if we look at the order that they ask the questions, and, the, and if we assume, and remember now I say well, if we assume this, I'm not saying that this is a fact, I can't be certain of that, but let's just, let's just use basic logic and common sense. If we assume that the, 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 the order of the way the question were asked, if Jesus answered them in the order that they was asking them, that they did ask him, then we see that it was an important point put on deception. Let's look at this here now. Let's look at the first the order of the question that the disciples had. In Matthew 24 and 3, it says, as he sat down upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, tell us when, all right, that's number one, when shall these things be, what, that's number two, shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Now we see that that really is three questions. You might say two, but you've got to look at that last question. It's two in one. It said, what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So in other words, they were asking him 
in that last second question really was two questions in one. They say, and may God add a blessing to the readers here and do us his word. But that second question was, what shall be the sign of thy coming and, and of the end of the world? So that could be considered to be two questions in one. So now let's let's just assume that Jesus answered these questions in the order that they was asking him. Look what Jesus said. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So the first question was, Tell us when shall these things be? So if that could be, we could take, we know that that's the first question and the, and the response, the first response came out of Jesus' mouth was, take heed that no man deceive you. So we see that mass deception is going to be very, very prevalent in these days that we're living in. Excuse me, I got that, my uh, email program open up. Uh, let me go on and close that right now because if I don't, we will be totally embarred with a lot of email messages. Let me go on and sign out. Okay. So we see that Jesus dealt with when they the first question first, and we assume that he answered their question in the order that they was asked of him. Mass deception. And that's what I want to talk about. Just for a couple of minutes. People, we are living in these days. Take a moment. Sit down with yourself and just look, listen to the inner news media, inner news forecast. Just about it. Look, look at the, look in the churches, look in not only in the churches, look in the, look in the streets and the highways and the byways. What do we see more than anything these days? Isn't it deception? You think somebody is all right, then you find out they wasn't all right. You think. A minister of music or a pastor or what what is doing and walking up right before God, then you find out what they not was all right. Deception. Deception, people. And as we were speaking of in our last video, and we were talking about the the, the the big thing about the Satan satanic stuff is in the music industry. And matter of fact, me and Brother LA has got something going on right now about that same thing. Me and Papa JT and Brother JT have also touched on that that same idea people we got to be careful in these last days and I'm not, I don't want to make a long video right now I don't like to make them too long but I just got to say we must be very careful in these last days because Jesus said deception deception that was going to be the main ingredient to to to, to get a hold the masses and you see Right now, we, we got so many people that are deceived. And people, I pray. I really do. I pray for those that are maybe got in Satan's clinches and being deceived by these so-called big wigs. These big wigs. People, for what shall it profit a man? Jesus said, I believe it's in Mark. For what shall it profit a man if he would gain the whole world and lose his soul? So you see, Satan offered Jesus the kingdoms of this world, and he couldn't have, he, like I told you in the last video, he could not have offered something that didn't belong to him. It wouldn't have been a temptation. So what I'm saying, and I'm challenging the end time harvest game, all my cyber friends, let's keep watch out for this deception that Jesus told his disciples back down on the Mount of Olives. Let's keep our eyes open for this deception. And any time we see it, let's expose it. Or what it is, I don't care who it is, people. It's see the Bible tells us plain as day that judgment gonna start at the house of God. So first of all, with our own self, let our own self be true to what we believe. If we are following Christ, let us do it with sincerity and and pureness of heart, not with old de 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 deceptive mind attitude mindset. People, we serve a great God, and I feel that. We should serve him in what, like Jesus said, spirit and truth. Let's not do things by deceptive manners. Let's deal with each other the way we want to be dealt with. In other words, Jesus said, do unto others as we would have them to do unto us. People, deception is very, very rampant these days. And it's across the board. So we must be very, very careful in our walk that we make certainly that we choose not to use these deceptive practices 
in our everyday dealing with our, each other. Let us not become like them. Let us be separate. And remember, we are a peculiar people, peculiar nation, a nation of king, uh, kings and priests. That's what, that's what we are. So with that being said, many man gonna sign off on this video for right now. And hopefully we all have a great worship experience today, wherever you go, keep God first. And remember whatever you get and whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it is best that you come on out of it anyway. That being said, this is Minute Man saying peace. Goodbye.